A Minnesota Navy veteran is now a star on TikTok because even at nearly 80 years of age, he's still serving. He's not actively serving in the military, but he's serving others out of a sense of compassion. And his good deeds came back to him in a big way. He learns sign language and posts fun videos on TikTok for the deaf community. He then shared on a social media site that his beloved scooter broke down and within hours, the TikTok community raised $5,000. And that love just keeps coming. Now the GoFundMe page stands at $95,000 and counting. I didn't think I'd get $1,000, you know? And look what happened. Famous, you know? I'm so honored, you know? And my angels took care of me, they did. And now I got angels here, good angels that take care of me. That GoFundMe money will also help him pay down debt, move into a safer home, and get new teeth. And we're hearing that he's using some of that money to help fellow vets in need. A father's misfortune in one Grand Forks parking lot over the weekend turned into three strangers joining together for his 11-year-old son's birthday in another parking lot. Valley News team's Bailey Hurley has the story of how social media helped connect a Northern Valley community. When Jake Bartlett couldn't sleep Friday night, he found himself aimlessly scrolling through Facebook. I stumbled across the post and I was like, wow, you know, poor kid. A dad dropping and losing an envelope with $100 in it from his son's 12th birthday party, hoping for a good Samaritan to find it and give it back, which Bartlett says got him thinking. Let's get together and get some donations for the, you know, for the little guy and let's let's make his birthday come true for him. And Bartlett says several people flooded his messages wanting to help out too, but without a Venmo account, he says he was only able to take physical donations from two other men, totaling out to $130. We met and we, we sat and we talked for a little while and, you know, the kid's smile was very, very priceless and pretty heartwarming. I mean, how much better of a place would the world be? It sounds cliche, but it's true. It's, you know, acts of kindness like that are utterly transformative. Erickson says in such dark times, the swift and kind actions by complete strangers has given him hope for the future in the community and for his son, Riker, adding he now challenges you to pay it forward, as you never know who you may inspire next. Follow that example. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to try to be more like Jake. I'm going to try to do those acts of kindness and show people the love. In Grand Forks, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Erickson says his son plans to use the money on an upcoming trip to Legoland, and the 11 year old promised Bartlett that he'll pay it forward again in his honor sometime soon. Up next in sports, the latest on Carson Wentz's health after yesterday's ankle sprain.